I designed and printed this virgin folio clock. I'm going to show you how it's made. So that was quite the project. It took me, it was more trickier than I thought it would be, but here it is. It's working well. I like it. The speed, it's 34 beats per minute with the gear ratio that it has. It has a ratchet to rewind. You can adjust the hand and Works well, I like it, so I'm, I'm going to show you how I made it. Okay, the build. Main frame, it's three different pieces. Two halves for the back that are glued together with epoxy. Put some epoxy on those pins, it holds together. Wipe the extra glue. Use a piece of plastic polyethylene so it doesn't stick. C clamp all together. Okay, like I said, I use five minute epoxy, mix the two parts. Let's build a virgin folio. So the longer pin on the top, put some glue. That's the long pin. Put some glue. Put those two parts together. Wipe the glue. Put the shorter pin at the bottom. a piece of wire for the hook and then I screw on the pallets that way it, it's easy to do some experiment okay go screw it and that's how it looks and then glue the two halves of the pulley the drive pulley together has that shape so the, the string doesn't slip too much so don't do like this I didn't the shaft doesn't need to be glued in the pulley but we'll see later on okay make a test okay shaft needs to be glued in the gear that position I'm showing that's how it comes together with the ratchet then the spacer that's the spacer front bushing and then the front gear and then there's one more space on the back another escape wheel and the gear it's two parts screwed together and I used it gig to align them so play with it move it until it's almost warp free as good as it can then I use a file and just knock off the top of the teeth so that looks good and then the little weights regulating weights two halves filled with steel balls for the make it 150 grams okay let's put together the frame parts, everything is held with pins. Those two shafts, it's the same. Spacers. Main gear. Another spacer. Escape. Another spacer. Put the shaft. Then put together the front frame. Version folio. Another pins, put the verge folio in place, top hook, pin, okay, there it is, come in place, another pin. Okay, I do a knot, I put some super glue to hold it, and then do another knot at the top, that's need to be at the just the right place. Check the height with the weight on. Okay, looks good. Let's do a test run. 
So 500 grams, tension weight, one and a half kilo on the drive weight. Okay, trans, it's 34 beats per second with the gear ratio that it has. Okay, looks good. Okay, the front face, those posts are glued on the face. Stop ring to hold the front spindle, put the face with two pins, front gear, the hand, and another pin. That's all done. Okay, let's run it. Running fast. Put the little weights on. And it is running at 34 beats per, s per minute with the gear ratio that it has. So that's it. The whole clock, virgin folio clock. distance between the virgin folio and the escape wheel is critical also. Just change a little bit the spacers and the speed will change. Okay, that's quite tricky to get it to go the right speed and everything. Okay, here it is. hope you like this project please like subscribe and till next time thank you for watching bye